everyone here is a question on fraction and the question is convert each of the following into a mixed fraction now mixed fraction is nothing but you're gonna have a whole number and the fraction every improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction improper fraction means the numerator when it is greater than denominator that is the number which is on the top of the division sign that is this one like 28 in this case is called numerator and the number below the division sign is called denominator now here the numerator will be greater than denominator and those type of fractions are called improper fraction all the improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction now how to do this let's take a first question now in the first one we have 28 by 9 now you have to divide the number like how you do a normal division the same way you have to divide so let me divide the number here 28 by 9 now 9 3 is a 27 right subtracted you will get the remainder 1 and the question we got here is 3 now I'll tell you how to do it now you might have seen a mixed fraction you're gonna have a whole number here and one fraction here yes now if you look at the question we have a 28 by 9 so 9 is there in the denominator so in a mixed fraction also 9 will be there in the denominator the same whatever dividing here 9 is dividing so 9 will come in the same denominator now here the whole number will be nothing but the question which is 3 here 3 will come here okay the whole number it will be is nothing but 3 so here we got 9 whole number will be 3 so what will come in the numerator the remainder what we have so 1 is a remainder so we'll get 1 so 3 1 by 9 is a mixed fraction your 3 is not combining with 1 it will lie somewhere between this uh, division sign this bar you have right here it you're gonna write down here like this 3 3 1 by 9 that's a mixed fraction we have done now the second question in second we have a 226 divided by 15 so we're going to do the same division first so 226 we have to divide this with 15 okay so 15 ones are 15 what is the remainder 7 drop this 6 here 76 so 15 5 is a 75 so subtract it the remainder we got here is 1 now let's write down into the mixed fraction so same thing 15 is there in the denominator here also we'll get 15 in the whole number that is here you have to write down the quotient the quotient here we got is 15 so we'll write down 15 in the numerator you have to write down the remainder remainder here is 1 so 1 so 15 1 upon 15 is a mixed fraction now the next one third question here we have 145 divided by 9 now we have to do the division again so let me divide here 9 okay so 145 divided by 9 so 9 ones are 9 subtract it it is 5 then drop this 5 here so we got 55 then uh, uh, 9 6 are 54 right 9 6 is 54 we'll get here remainder 1 that's it we cannot do this further we'll stop here now let us write down in a mixed fraction so 9 is a denom is the denominator so in mixed fraction also we'll get 9 now the whole number is 16 the quotient what we got here is 16 so whole number will be 16 remainder we got 1 so 1 will be in the numerator so 16 1 by 9 is the answer now the last one fourth question we have 128 divided by 5 now let's divide 128 by 5 so 5 2 is a 10 we get remainder 2 drop this 8 then 5 uh, we have 28 right so 5 5 is a 25 subtract it we'll get 3 as a remainder now we're going to write down into mixed fraction so 5 we have in the denominator in this case also we'll get 5 in the denominator in the whole number we have a uh, 25 in the question so we'll get 25 here 
and the remainder here is 3 so we'll write down 3 so 25 3 by 5 is the mixed fraction of 128 upon 5 so this is how you can do it whenever you want to convert into a mixed fraction uh, you can only convert improper fraction to mixed fraction and divide it and write down the whole number as a co quotient will come in the whole number denominator will remain same in the numerator you will get the remainder so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching